Quake World, uh, well, it's a first-person shooter game. Uh, it's probably the oldest that still has a crowd playing it at uh, LAN events and such. Yeah, Quake World is all about the physics. At the, it's so pure. But, but also, uh, the community is what binds it to, together. Without the persons, we would never be here. Uh, my name is Dennis Larsson. Uh, my nickname is Loktar. I've been playing Quake for 16 years. My name's David. I'm originally from Denmark, but I've been living in Sweden for the last uh, six years almost. I've been playing Quake since the beginning. Um, as most of the players still around, we always uh, we, we started in the beginning, like 1996, 1997, on local net cafes. For me, uh, it's the extreme nature of it. Like it's so fast and it's the weapons are so powerful and uh, uh, you always uh, I mean just one tenth of a second where you don't pay attention can be the loss of a game so we always have to be always have to be focused and always have to be uh, be prepared for anything um, when I get home I start up my computer and I have uh, IRC on auto start, so I get in my channels automatically. I see w which persons are online, and I connect to my Teamspeak server where we hang out, all the friends, uh, our clan mates, and such. Um, start chatting, what's up? Seeing if there's any games around. Uh, is there anybody we want to spec spectate now? Uh, yeah, things like that. And, and we have a, a topic in our clan channel that says if we're gonna play tonight or not, so we have a kind of a schedule.
My favorite map today is uh, DM4. DM4 is a very, very fast map and uh, you have to have uh, a lot of uh, brain playing it because it's, uh, you can't afford uh, giving your uh, enemy free frags because if you do that he will win at, uh, at least when you play on a high level so uh, it's a brain map and I like it yeah. I think Airwalk is so nice because it's really fluid the gameplay is open uh, it's not that many corners that you got stuck around like in DM4 is very locked down while well, Airwalk is open and uh, you, you can have good speed speed jumping around the map I really like that yeah the first time I played Quake World I think I had a pretty crappy Pentium compu computer back in 97 or 98 not quite sure The quad damage, which is made of a symbol of Quake, the Q, it's a bonus you can pick up, and when you have it, you do quadruple damage, thereby the name quad. So once you get the quad, it enables you to totally destroy a whole team by yourself. You can just cut through anybody like butter, and you know body parts are flying around, and you can really dominate a map. Uh, my name is Martin. I'm from Denmark. Uh, my nickname is Salon. Playing the Division 3 of the EQL, and uh, my main job on the scene is as an organizer. I uh, run the QuakeWorld.nu site, and I'm an admin in almost all of the leagues. And I um, I organize uh, QH land tournaments as well. I would like to see many new players in the game. Uh, just for the sake for playing new opponents, not only the same. And of course, I want all the pros back also. But uh, yeah, the more the merrier. Well, many people have declared Quake dead for many years, uh, and we've persisted. But there comes a point where you have a critical mass, and when you uh, surpass that threshold, you just don't have enough players to run tournaments or have uh, continuous gaming outside the tournaments and uh, I think we're approaching that soon so there has to be done something but if you look at the statistics we've had a steady decline in players and it is really hard to get new players because of all the marketing from new games they just push push through console gaming and uh, gaming magazines and so forth so uh, even though Quakewell has a place in most FPS gamers hearts the, most of them have moved on and it's hard to get them back I really want to show my appreciation to, to the people developing uh, the Quake, uh, the Easy Quake primarily. What I would like to say to the community is that uh, the best feeling in Quake is, of course, it's a very fun game, but there's no other feeling like when you're starting to improve, it's so rewarding that it's so worth it. Uh, so I don't think we should underestimate the value of this game, what it, what it means to us. It's really a part of us. I think it would be hard if, if the scene died out, I don't know what to replace it with. Big thanks for everyone who uh, dedicated their own time to, to give, a, give this community something. 
I think that uh, you're doing a great job. I don't know how to say it, but this is a part of our lives. This is not just a, a thing, a computer game, you, you forget it a year, a year from now. I've been playing half of my life, I think, and continuing playing. So when we're like 80 years or so and lying on our beds, I think we will remember the textures of the M6 and we will have pi sharp pixel memories from these occasions and, and games. very fast paced faced. it was um, you didn't need to be as fast with the keyboard and the mice as in uh, mouse as in Starcraft 2 but uh, the facing of the game how fast you need to react and all that it was a lot a lot faster than Starcraft 2 oh! I have minus Point. I'm sorry, people are gonna yeah, think that you are noob now. <laughs> <laughs> but this is stupid. Why do I lose? Is a bridge, bridge. I don't care. How do I get like a rocket launcher that makes me all pro? Uh, like, you should rocket. You need to have a look at everything which I didn't know, so I get like one kill and 100 deaths, <laughs> something like that, I don't know. <laughs> What's your name at this? What's your nickname? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I play StarCraft. I play Pro Games, not this. Pro Games? StarCraft. How long have you played uh, StarCraft? Since I was nine years old. How old are you now? Don't go up. Uh, Twelve. Okay. So that's three years. Are you good at StarCraft? Um, I think the most in this uh, land. Green, yellow. Okay. So, so that game takes three years to be good at, and that's a pro game. Yeah. Actually, the guy that's sitting next to you has played 16 years of that game. Yeah. To get good. Yeah. This is this is StarCraft. Four, four, e, four, four. E. Yeah. Three. Do you look e, how e, fast e, he's e. moving? Look at how fast he's moving. What? Look at how fast he's moving on the screen. I'm moving fast. No, you're, you're walking around. Do you even have plus speed on? Shut up. <laughs> you deserved it. You deserved it. How do I get uh, plus speed? Look at this. Look at my APMs. How good I am. Do you have APMs in Quake? What is that? Uh, actions per minute, how many times you click per minute. Like in StarCraft, I had like 200 APM before they patched the thing so I could spam. It was a very <laughs> fun game, but uh, I don't understand how you can uh, un understand all the moments in so fast paced games. So props to everyone that can do that. <laughs> Uh, and to the guy, I don't remember his name, Serex or Zero. Uh, yeah, he was pretty nice and he let me play. And yeah, that's all. <laughs> How do we get rid of him? Ah, no. <laughs> what? They, my teammates can't hear anything because you're talking louder than I am. I'm not talking. <laughs> no, you're screaming. 